Hi, my name is Katherine Erickson. I live in Punta Gorda, Florida. In 2002, when I retired from teaching, I decided to take a pine needle art class to occupy some of my spare time. At that time, I was working in very simple type of pine needle baskets, and after a while, I found that I wanted to incorporate some stones in the bottom of the basket. So I went to North Carolina and to a rock and mineral show and came up with some stones that I needed to put in and I decided that I wanted to drill them. And the lapidary person decided that I wouldn't be able to do that. So consequently, I had to develop my own method of sewing in the basket and so that it's in there only with thread, no epoxies or, or holes or um, anything on the top of it. Uh, from there, I moved on to working with a grass, which is called muley grass. And this muley grass, as opposed to the pine needles, is a little bit stronger and longer. And I grow that in my flower bed. And so I harvest that several times a year. It's one of those grasses, it's a zero scape grass. It's one of those grasses that don't take an awful lot of water, but if you put it in a flower bed, it'll grow like mad overnight. So within four months, I can grow a long enough piece of grass to harvest it, which I then dry in my barn, and three months later, I have material to weave. Uh, since the time of my first stone bas bottom baskets, I've grown also because I've started out with flat pieces, and uh, since I have grown into using more three-dimensional type of pieces, like this piece of amethyst here. And now I've gotten to the point where I can put almost anything from a nautilus shell to a piece of uh, fine amethyst into bottom of any baskets. I hope to continue to do this for many more years as long as my eyesight and my arthritis in my hands will keep me going. Thank you.